that is it. Sorry about that, just the sound of hangers dropping. Just another day in Karen's house. I think you can. I know. There you go, I'm sure you can see her now, on my knee. Um, so I wore, um, just to go and run some errands and to take her for a walk with me at the same time, this um, long coat, it is from H&M. I've had it for at least two years now. I love it because it is just so, just very sort of sleek and I like how slim the arms are on it. It's a Celine clasp bag, very easy to carry. It's very thin and that's why I like it because it just sort of lies very flat against the body. Old men's navy sweatshirt, so I'd have like an old t-shirt underneath it. And the jeans are from Madewell of the most hated shoe in the universe, which is the Balenciaga Triple S's. And here. Oh, there's something at the door. That was a delivery from Mod Cloth. It's a project I'm doing with them, so that just arrived. Ray Bans as well, and that is it. That is my look for um, whatever day of the week it is. <laughs> Don't you rock my boot. Don't rock my boot, cause I don't want my boat to be rocking anyway i'm heading out to just do some bunch of errands today um i'm in the mango teddy coat under the stories jumper which is it's so warm i love this and the gucci mama and velvet um some old these are thrifted levi jeans they're high-waisted which i really like and i've got the doc martens on you know how it is when you first get docs you don't like them so you've got to wait till they've really broken in and then it's like yeah then mm, then you really love them anyway um i'm out oh and the earrings are these are from a local place in st lucia i'm back <laughs> he is another day running out and um i am in the mango teddy coat the under the stories yeah this is under the stories this jumper and zara zara jeans the shoes are from nike and i've got on the stone blue um loewe puzzle i think that is about it earrings are i found these in st lucia these earrings and i've got some uh, gold bracelets on this is the whole look i think that is everything what else i want to say no i think that is it and i'm gonna anyway i'm gonna head out now and um i'll talk to you a lot later i do have something else to show you that is puzzle bag related but i'm not gonna do it now i'll probably show another time the phone's ringing it's one of those um you know those spam calls anyway if it's not then well it's not oh valentine's okay so what are you cooking oh. today Today is going to be roasted garlic herb penne with asparagus, tomato, and crispy capers. Bloody hell, that sounds, um, that sounds like a mouthful, actually. It sounds fancy, but I don't even know what a crispy caper tastes like. <laughs> We're about to find out. So for you lot who do not know, Michael and I have been using um, Cooking with HelloFresh for almost a year now. What are you drinking? <laughs> don't tell me. I already know what you're drinking. Anyway. So on Instagram stories, we've been posting um, for almost literally, like I said, a year, us doing HelloFresh. Um, it's a subscription and it comes every single week. And we chose, I think it's three meals a week we get, and yep. but they have different plans. So you can do like a family plan. Um, they have a classic plan. Um, so you kind of decide how, you know, which, which one suits you. But um, yeah, we've just, well, not, I say we, but really Michael has become like a little chef. Anyway, if you lot haven't seen this already, then check out the Instagram stories and my highlight that we've got of, of Michael in action cooking HelloFresh over the past few months. Anyway, so I thought I would throw this in here so we can catch him on YouTube actually making a dish. Time to put the pasta into the water. Okay. So we've been using HelloFresh um, because we literally were cooking the same thing over and over, day in, day out, and we were just getting so tired of it. Or we just do takeaway, I remember, instead. Too much. And we, 
and it was and it was expensive as well so you know when i tried this i thought oh let's, let's just give it a go let's just see what it's like and i never honestly hand on heart i never thought we would like still a year later still be doing it but it's just it's it's absolutely it's been a lifesaver for us and um we've even even taken some recipes to St. Lucia with us i know anyway cheers cheers here's to not eating the same takeout over and over and over again and, and then flipping a coin going what are we having next oh we just had chinese let's not do chinese let's it was getting to a point where it's like all right too much yeah it was getting a bit ridiculous anyway we like the fact that these meals are pretty quick as well because i don't have the patience and neither does michael to sit around at the cooker for like hours on end i think they roughly take about half an hour ish give or take yeah, somewhere around so is ready for our capers so Chef these Michael. Have been drying. I'm just gonna pop those in there. Um, <laughs> asparagus. Asparagus. And the red chili pepper flakes. Okay. Chili flakes. That's Very what nice. I was trying to say. The best part is that we paused the um, deliveries of the food while we were in St. Lucia. So if you go away, you can just go into your account and just you know stop the meals being delivered, and then when you come back. You can resume. Yeah, just pick it back up. Okay, I think I need to taste. Can I see what this is like? Asparagus. What's that? Tomatoes. Yes. Brilliant. Okay. Soften up the tomatoes. <laughs> I love how Americans say tomatoes. Yeah, that's a little bit of salt and a little bit of. That Chef pepper. Michael in the house. Yes. I basically exposed our guilty pleasure. It's like you feel like you could open a restaurant with some of these meals. Well, we definitely a little bit more judgmental on what we eat, that's for sure. But it made me realize how simple it is to cook food. So why can't you expect more from a restaurant when you do go? This is the lemon zest. Flip it, Eck. Talk about fancy. So HelloFresh is now from $6.99 per serving. Okay, time to eat. Get some lemons to squeeze over. Lovely. Definitely got to have some of that. Also, I have a promo for you lot, and it is, I'm going to put it on the screen as well, it's Karen Britchick 60. Basically, you're going to get started with six free meals, six free meals. Two free meals in each of your three boxes when they deliver. So, you are very welcome. But anyway, down the hatch. Bon appétit. <laughs> Okay, I want to see, I want to see his reaction. We haven't had this one before, this meal. Mm. Okay, hold on, I've got to try it as well. I know. Yeah. We're spoiled. Enjoy the promo. Let me know if you lot end up subscribing. Okay, so I'm heading out. That's why I'm all kind of dolled up with the makeup to do a shoot with Crystal, my friend. Um, it is for Essie, for the nails, about Galentines, the whole Galentines, like friendship thing. So we're doing that, um, and the theme that we're doing is 70s and 60s. So I'm drawing high rise flares, vintage that I found from a vintage shop with Zara snake print shirt. Oh god, I'm flashing, I'm flashing, battery's gonna die. And this is from a thrift shop and other stories, and that's about it. Put this down because it's coming out really like sort of overexposed. Okay, that is a lot better, I think. So I am in a Ralph Lauren uh, coat with vintage um, Chanel, then a thrifted wool polo, same for this kilt, and underneath I'm wearing a pair of skinny jeans, Chloe, Chloe glasses. So that is it. Sorry about that, just the sound of hangers dropping. Just another day in Karen's house for an Uber ride. <gasps> Arriving. Oh, he's there. All right, I'll see you lot later. Good on you. Why do you think 
be like four hundred dollars. <laughs> Is the price in the pocket? No, it's not. Uh, no. No? Oh, look at that morning light. All right, so I'm heading to a breakfast with um, ShopBot and I'm wearing the vintage leather trench that I got from Brooklyn Flea Market. This Under the Story skirt, beautiful. I love this skirt. They sent this to me and I saw it online and as soon as I saw it, I loved it. I got it in a really big size so it could be nice and long and I'm wearing it with my platform Doc Martens and just the uh, merino wool Uniqlo um, knit underneath. And in my hair, I've got, can you see? Oh, look at that light though. I've got the, um, those clips in. My bag is by Mango. So there's the docks on the feet. As you can see, I love how long the skirt is. Pleated. It's got like these metallic lurex stripes running through it. All right, so that is going to be my whole look heading out. I love this little dinky bag. Um, some of you have been calling it my Maltesers bag. Brits, you understand what I'm talking about, but it is right, isn't it? Like Maltesers, black foldable Ray Bans, which I love to carry with me. All right, so I'm out. I'll see you guys later. Oh, and here's the clips in the hair. If you couldn't see them properly before. Oh, look at that highlighter though. Bloody hell. Zero, how I'm crawling for a worthy goal At least I'm not alone in my empathy There's more like me who don't know how to be How to reach out to the open arms How to reach out to the open arms I've really been getting into the whole big hair clip thing and here's another one that I've been going with which is these three it makes sense to just sort of wear a few of them in the hair I actually have four of these and I did that because they're so small so I wanted to like spread them out in my hair anyway I don't want to turn this into a vlog it's supposed to be what I wore so I'm going to stop talking now good morning everybody so what is happening what is happening today oh I've got to show you the stuff that I've I've acquired over the past few um, days or so. But the first I'm gonna have a little bit of breakfast. I'm not eating anything yet. Oh, look at these flowers from Michael. I'm not sure if I showed you earlier. Let's look at Michael. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> the life of a uh, influencer couple. I don't know what we are. I'm having bran flakes, nothing very interesting. Anyway, I was just looking at your comments from the video on um, how to build a spring capture wardrobe and I loved it. I love reading your comments. They just, they, they're brilliant. They're so good. So um, let me just get my, my food down mate and I'll catch up with you later and I'll show you some of the things I've, that I've got. Hopefully this will work with my lighting. This is my vlogging camera. This should be yeah i think that's okay okay so a couple of things actually more than a couple of things but here's just a few of the things that i picked up one are these nike i think they're called blaze is it blaze or blazer blaze it's called nike blaze anyway these i've always wanted these for years and i never bit the bullet i'm usually a uk 8 us 11 usually and the 10.5s fit fine for anyone who's considering them anything ultra feminine then you put this on perfect i ended up also picking up these from zara's two straps going across the front here and i love the fluorescent color now this is not everyone's cup of tea because it's basically neon highlighter bright just waiting for it to get a little bit warmer let's take my my bands off which is what i actually had on these are so pretty and the back strap is elasticated so it makes it really easy to slip on I just love how they look so here they are on my feet I really like them I do like these I think these are quite pretty just that I put the camera on the floor so at least you can sort of see how they roughly look I think they're so pretty I'm just grabbing the Zara white ones so you can see how those look but these are quite comfortable and I like the idea of wearing them like with jeans as well because they're just really simple I 
I really like these. I think they're so sort of chic looking. Expensive look to them. Topshop has a version as well. So I'll link those below. They keep coming in and selling out, but um, they're also a really nice strapping um, pattern on the foot. But I thought these are really good as well. And I like that they're white because I think they're perfect for spring. Fantastic with denim as well. So really happy about these ones as well. Oh, and you like these, don't you, Michael? What's that? These. Yes. Uh, he just walked in. Speaking with accessories, um, I did. I did it. It happened. I ended up getting the, the beaded shrimps. But yeah, so it happened. It happened. It did happen. So looking forward to like breaking that in throughout the entire spring and the summer now another item i'm going to show you which is going to be a bit more of a surprise for probably all of you is my loewe puzzle now you know i have two i've got the blue um i think it's called stone blue in the small and the tan in the medium i ended up selling the tan in the medium because the size just didn't work out it ended up actually being too big for me and for what I carry around. I love that tan so much. I really wanted a tan bag. I do not have a tan bag. I bought it with the intention of thinking I'll be able to carry my large DSLR camera and because it fits in it. And it's just worked out in my life that I don't carry, I don't lug it around like I used to. So I ended up finding one. Eventually, it took me months and months and months. I was stalking Vestier Collective. Didn't want the updated one because there's no feet and the strap is, doesn't have the wider part here. And I wanted that. I would just recommend just keep checking Vestier Collective. Um, I got very lucky with this one. Like I said, it is, it's brand new. It's exactly what I was after. Vintage suede trench, the Loewe puzzle in the small size, and then just a pair of jeans and the Balenciaga triple S in the pink. I really like this kind of combination anyway. I think that's it. Is there anything else I want to say? Oh, we've got a new plant, look. Oh, let's see how long that lives. Eyes The jeans are Bowden. I've had these for a little bit. Uh, what is going on here? We've got some leftovers from HelloFresh, probably finishing it off. Oh, we've got a couple more bags as well for the rest of the week. Nice one. Anyway, um, right now, I'm just gonna have a cup of tea, I think, right now. And then, um, yeah, I will catch up with you lot later. Okay, so I am, um, grab my bag. I'm gonna be heading out shortly and I thought I'd quickly show you what I'm in. Chloe glasses, which you already know about, and oldie but goodie H&M dress. It's uh, high necked and quite long. And underneath that, I'm wearing a satin Topshop skirt. And it's a bit longer, and I've made it go longer, like just pulled it down, just so you get that flash of a different color. My feet are the Nike uh, Blaze trainers, high tops. It's the bag, which needs no introduction now, I think. The Shrimps Quinn, which I really love, and you lot remember from the other video, you know, you already know how I feel about this bag. Watch this space, but there is a possibility that I might, I might actually get this bag. Um, and then a suede brown trench coat, and I think that is everything. So that's the whole, whole look. Because I like the colours together, the green, the browns, and the, the yellows. All right, so that is it. I am off. I'll see you later. I wanted to show you because I actually really like this shirt in particular. It's just, um, it's this, it's showcasing the newest like denim collection, but I liked these high waisted jeans, and these are very stretchy. Look, full on plies. You get the point. They obviously are very, very, <laughs> they're really, really um, stretchy and comfortable. High waist, the way I like them, um, kind of like mid wash, I was telling you about, you know, before. So I like that as well. And um, also this shirt, which is, it's like a sort of chambray, it's that kind of billowiness. 
so you know you can just tuck it in to something that's tighter if that makes any sense and i'm wearing it with my um everlane day boots actually before i do that here's a proper look at the jeans so you can see them on they go in at the back look at that nice and stretchy here um, these are the Everlane day boots you already know about. So this is the skirt, zips up. You can see, like I said, it's a little bit on the bigger side for me, but I actually don't mind it. Um, this is just the same H&M shirt. Just wanted to show you the, the skirt, really. Um, yeah, so I like this as well. And then, see, just carry the bag as well. Do you know? Oh, look, and there's a slit there. I didn't even realize that. Okay, so I think I'm just going to show you the last piece that came in and then we will call it a day. <laughs> okay, so the last thing that I have is new in is this top and skirt combination. I just love the shape of this blouse. I think it's so classic and it will work just by itself with a pair of like high waisted jeans. And it's also the cuffs I like. It's just how pretty they are. It's like that tight, long cuff defined with the full sleeve. I love when they do, I love any kind of top that has that look to it. Old boots and you've got the skirt and just an old t-shirt. I just love that idea as a combination. It almost has the look of being a dress. It's summery enough that you could wear it like if you're going away on holiday as well. I could imagine this worn like with a pair of like thong sandals and a straw bag or something in your hand. So anyway, so those are my pieces that I got in. I just want to sign out and say, have a good weekend, everybody. And I will see you lot next week, Friday. Bye. <laughs>